We've seen these kind of bad deals, bad partnerships before. Well, we have, right? When the pilgrims came to America and they met the Native Americans, and uh, at first it was a good relationship, but things went south. So I guess we got to know, we got to know, Laurel, what was going on with the Russians and the Clinkett Indians? Well, it didn't take long for the Clinkets to realize that uh, submission to Alexander Baranov, who was the general manager of the Russian American company, uh, meant that they would be working for free and they would have to pledge allegiance to the Tsar. So during the next two years, the natives became more sullen and hostile, and by 1802, they were ready to take their land back. Sounds like they were gearing up for battle. That summer, while Baranov was off in Kodiak, natives came out of the woods and scaled over the stockade walls. Now the Russians tried to barricade their settlement, but the natives broke down doors, broke through windows, and poured into the encampment. A hunter who was just coming out of the woods witnessed the Clinkets massacring Russian men and carrying women and children off into the woods. And then the hunter told the captain of an English ship that arrived eight days later what he had seen. The captain then rounded up all the Clinket chiefs and he threatened to hang them unless they returned all the captives and the possessions they had taken from the post. Well, that begs the question, how did the native people respond? <laughs> well, they complied, and the captain then took them all on board his ship and took the ship over to Kodiak, where he demanded that Alexander Baranov pay him 50,000 rubles for his people. Well, when Baranov learned that it only cost the captain whatever it was for food and clothing, he paid him 10,000 rubles for three Russians, five Aleut men, and 18 women and children. So did the Russians ever return to their southeast settlement? In um, 1804, Baranov did return, and he had his naval um, entourage bombard the na uh, native people back into the woods, and then he erected a stronger stockade and renamed it New Archangel, which today we know as Sitka.